what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran youtube channel talking about the statics os based on android version 11 now it's available for the redmi note 8 and redmi note 8t users if you're using redmi note 8 which is kingo and redmi note 8t which is willow the build is available for you i'm going to show you the review and installation of this build and this one is actually a unified build so can be installed on both of the devices and installation is same i'll prefer you to use the orange fox custom query we're just going to talk about some a little bit of things about this custom room like the safety net status the battery backup and and performance related things other things are same no customizations in this custom room if you don't know statics os does not come with any kind of customization but a little bit of things are available which we're going to talk about right now in this video stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started Guys, talking about this build, this one is based on Android version 11. We're talking about Statix OS version v4.1 official version, which is released on 1st of January 2021. We have the December 2020 security patch, which is not too old. We have the Quicksilver v2 kernel pre-installed. You can use any other custom kernel also if you need. As I previously told you, the ROM does not come with any kind of customization. So let me tell you one thing. As you can see, there is no pill option available here. Even if you open your keyboard, there is no option of that spacer these are the things which you cannot do pre-installed which you cannot do with any kind of features available for this you need to go to the magic manager and install some modules and i have already on video that how you can pass the safety address and how you can hide this pill from here how you can hide that navigation bar that keyboard space everything every kind of video is already available make sure to check out that one in my case i'm using magic 21.2 here and talking about the safety net status safety net status in my case is perfectly working fine here how to pass the safety net status i have a dedicated video on that one you need to install the module called this magic hide props config and also you need to enable the option of magic hide in settings and then you'll be able to hide the magic and you will be able to pass the safety net status and along side with that we have the device is certified option available you'll be able to use the banking apps without any issues these are the some main things which you need to focus on while using a custom room that banking apps yes perfectly working fine here we have some little bit of features available like magic safety and status is passing device is certified and now let's take a look at some other things first of all the default launcher the room comes with the google apps pre-installed you don't need to install google apps on your own it comes with the statics launcher by the way which is just kind of a themed or you can say only the renamed version of pixel launcher this is actually the pixel launcher but with some little bit of extra features which include some developer options app search improvements and minimum device and some a little bit of things like the previous one like the legion os launcher but it does not have any app info you need to go to your settings to find out that this is a statics launcher and swiping it yes as expectedly we have the google pixel feed let's take a look at some things by default you'll see 2 by 3 which is of course available in android version 11 and some builds does not have this option so at least 2 by 3 it is available here and like that we have the statics os v1 v4.1 the developer things or you can see the name is available we have the battery stats where you can see active drainage is more than 10 percent per hour and idle drain is 0.22 percent per hour i have approximately a four hour of screen on time from 92% to 56% so this is normal I'm not saying it's great but I'm not saying it's bad it's normal kind of battery backup for me let me show you my battery stats first of all by going into battery we have this kind of battery stats as you can see 3 hours and 33 minutes of screen on time last full charge 8 hours ago these are my battery stats and you can see phone has consumed a lot of battery which should not be there and also if you are able to see on my status bar there is no icon of OLT there is no icon of wo wifi both the icons are missing from here at least this should be present but it's not available there you need to compromise with some little bit of these kind of things network internet connected devices apps and notifications same kind of things which you get in all android version 11 based builds battery i've already shown you display has some little bit of things which includes the styles and wallpapers where you can add your own style in my case i've applied the custom style that's why it's red here by default it is in blue kind of color and also you'll be able to change the fonts if you're looking for these fonts i have applied some third party fonts blackberry which i'll share with you very very soon maybe with a new video but this time we have this kind of information other things let me tell you one more thing 
if you go here we have the double tap to wake option available and if you go for the double tap to wake and check out if double tap to wake is working it's working fine here and also like that we have the launcher function also available if you double tap here you will be able to lock your screen so this is the feature which you get in the default launcher pre-installed as you can see put phone to sleep and like that we have the option of some cool kind of wallpapers like this we have on device wallpapers there are many kind of wallpapers pre-installed for example if you want to apply this wallpaper this wallpaper seems to be really nice just click here home screen and lock screen and you'll be able to apply the wallpaper this is looking like this one right now but it's actually changed maybe it has we finally got the bug but yes it's not changed this is the bug which we got till now and i just found this bug right now it was not available there but now it's available if you go for the home screen and lock screen both of the things are applied click here once again home screen and lock screen it's done sorry for that maybe previous time i just clicked on the lock screen only but now it's applied and it's working perfectly fine this developer seems to be really nice here looking for the other things the smoothness is quite great i didn't got any major issues no kind of lags even if you re reboot your device for some time after some time if you reboot your device once you'll feel some lags here and there so that is the issue but that's not a big case after some time the room gets settled up and you'll be able to use a device like a normal one let's take a look at some other things about this build first of all we're going to take a look at the geekbench score not everyone use geekbench most of the times and not everyone think about the geekbench scores but let's take a look at some geekbench kind of scores 305 is a single core score and 1254 is the multi core score which is of course not good you can see average we got 307 and now we got 305 which is less than the normal one and like that if you go for the multi core we also have less than the normal one two doubles and one two five four the room has a very good kind of performance so the stats are not seeing like this or you can say this graph is not seeing like this but yes if you compare it with the corvus os if you compare it with the evolution x this room is far more behind with those rooms. Those rooms are quite fast in the terms of smoothness, in the terms of performance. For me, it's all about my preferences and not sure about you. It depends upon how much you use your device, how you able to use your device, how much multitasking you do. A lot more things depends upon those. Taking a look at some other features, let me tell you, if you go for the battery, we have the option of customizing the status bar battery indicator, which I was looking for, but first time I didn't got that this option is available. But after using from some time, I finally got this feature is available here. At least battery indicator option is available, but not other things. Other things are missing from here. Privacy security has the same kind of things, but even it does not include the face lock, but it's okay not everyone use face lock i am encrypted so i need to format data to for installation of this build let's move to the installation first of all the file which you need for installation the rom comes with the google apps pre-installed so you don't need to install google apps on your own in my case i already have installed i already have downloaded this file which is called static skingo the size may be around 1.2 GB. So you need to download approximately a 1 GB plus file. Just boot into custom recovery on your device. In my case, as I previously told you, I'm using Orange Fox custom recovery. It, I don't think so it has the advanced power menu. Yes, expectedly it does not have the advanced power menu. So you need to install a third party app to boot into custom recovery or you can easily manually reboot into custom recovery by pressing some volume keys. Let me show you the key combination which we required. Just press and hold the power button and volume up for some seconds and now we are booted into custom recovery as you can see in my case i am using orange fox custom recovery you can use any other uh, orange for any, any other custom recovery also depends upon you so we have uh, the encryption as i previously already told you so i need to format data to install this bit so how to do that first of all we have two kind of steps you can simply wipe all the partitions and format data reboot to recovery and install the room and then just reboot or like this what i am gonna do right now just go here and sorry for this go here we have to dalvi catch system vendor data we have to click all these partitions click on swipe to wipe it will not take much time and it will wipe all the partitions on a device and after that just go here go to your file manager go to your location where we have downloaded the file called static Go. first of january 2021 click this one this one is the official build so the same to be really nice and we have this kind of options available let's take a look at let's wait for the installation to be done and let me tell you that yes i will format data and the room will boot up don't worry make sure i will show you everything in this video so maybe you'll not have any kind of complaints so let's wait for the installation to happen right now
So as you can see the installation is now completed and let me tell you one thing some guys will say maybe I have skipped the video. In previous video you will see this kind of time that was 11.53 now it's 11.54 so which means it took approximately 1 minute or just more than 1 minute to install complete uh, install or uh, install completely and after that what you need to do is as I previously told you just go here and you need to format data if you're encrypted this is the process for those if you're decrypted you need to flash the DFE file I am not decrypted so I'll not be able to show you and also let me tell you one more thing it's better to stay encrypted because it it means a lot if your device is encrypted no one will be able to access your device in case if something goes wrong it's better to encrypt your device and if you still want to be decrypted if you don't have any kind of care of your privacy or nothing else you can simply use a dfe it's up to you in my case i am gonna format data right now click on yes click on ok and it's done now just we need to click on a reboot system and maybe your device will boot two times so don't worry about that and then you'll be able to boot into statics os it will show you the statics os boot animation very soon first of all we have this redmi logo so just to wait for it and maybe it will reboot two times as i previously told you but maybe it will not so just to wait and as you can see we have the statics os boot animation is available it will take some time to boot and boom you'll be able to use your device with statics os based on android version 11 this is all from today's video i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and goodbye